What's up you guys, my name is Matt Stone and welcome to my Elvis channel. Today I'd like to do something a little bit different by taking a look at the gear that Elvis Presley used, specifically his microphones. I've been kind of compiling a database of all the equipment and mics that Elvis used in my brain over the past couple of years because I try to make things as authentic as I possibly can as an Elvis tribute artist. And I finally decided just about a week ago that I'm going to complete my database, I'm going to finish it. So over the past week I've been looking for every single picture I could possibly find of Elvis in the studio or on stage in the 50s, 60s, and 70s and then tracking down what mic he was using. Now over the years I've seen a whole lot of different forums on different mics that Elvis used and nobody really has a straight answer of all the mics that he used out of all the different pictures of Elvis. So I hope that this could be the go-to video for all the Elvis tribute artists or just Elvis fans who want to know what kind of equipment that Elvis used throughout his career. Now starting off with the 50s, as you know Elvis's career launched in 1954 and for the first couple years he was mainly on the Louisiana Hayride and playing different venues with other artists. So at this time he didn't really have set mics that he worked with with. It was kind of whatever the venue or the show he was booked at provided. So I would say this is probably the most incomplete decade that I have because there are an unlimited amount of microphones that Elvis could have used in this time period, but uh, these are the mics that I was able to find. Okay, starting off we have the Shure Super 55. This is referred to as the Elvis mic. Everybody's seen it, everybody knows it. This is the mic that Elvis used most in the 50s. It's the one that he's most commonly attributed to using, the Super 55 and the Shure 5575LE, which is just an Another variation of that Super 55. Next we have the Altec M11. This is one of those Coke bottle mics that were very popular in the 50s. They have a neck on them similar to a Coca-Cola bottle, and you'll see a lot of pictures of Elvis using these Coke bottle mics, specifically the Altec M11. In recording, Elvis was pretty much always using an RCA 44A or an RCA 77DX. These were RCA's ribbon mics that most studios were using at the time. I also came across a picture of Elvis wearing a green suede jacket using a Shure Model 315, which is kind of rare. I've never seen Elvis use this mic anywhere else except for in this photograph, which I'm going to be putting right up here. Another mic that Elvis used live in the 50s was the Ecstatic T3. You can see I'm using it right here. Our last mic for the 50s in the movie Jailhouse Rock, Elvis was using an Altec 633A during the song Treat Me Nice. Okay, getting into the 60s, as we know, Elvis didn't perform very much in the 60s live. He did two charity shows in 1961, the 68 comeback special, then the Vegas engagement in 1969, which I don't really even consider 60s. It's more 70s than 60s. So when Elvis first got out of the army, RCA was equipped with brand new mic microphones and a new three track recording system and these new microphones they were using were both uh, Telefunk and Newman's uh, one of them was the U47 and the other was the M49. Next, in the two charity shows that Elvis did in 1961, he used an Electro Voice 664. This was the first instance I could find of Elvis using an Electro Voice microphone, but he did really, really like the brand, which is why he used them practically for the rest of his life. In the 68 comeback special, Elvis Presley used two different microphones. He used the Electro Voice RE15. The Electro Voice RE15 was Elvis Presley's favorite microphone. He used them in the 1968 comeback special, 1969, 1970, 71, 72, 73, and even once in 1974 in Houston. Also in the 68 comeback special, during the stand-up portion of the show and during If I Can Dream, he used an Altec 195A. Getting into the concert years, most of the time Elvis was using an RE15, but there are a couple instances where he did use different mics. In 1969, during the opening shows, he used a Shure 545 Unidyne 3. He had this microphone in both gold and silver. There is also one picture of Elvis in 1969 during the stand-up portion of the show using a Shure 565 pistol grip. Pistol grip mics are designed to stay on the stand, so I assume that Elvis switched to the RE15 or the Unidyne 3 once he was done with the guitar playing part of the show. Now getting into 1970, 1970 was probably the most diverse year of microphone use that Elvis had, especially in the rehearsals from That's The Way It Is. He used a bunch of different mics going through multiple a day. So starting out with rehearsal mics, Elvis used a Shure SM58, which is just the standard rock and roll mic. Everybody used these mics. He also used an Electro Voice 65 a, an Electro Voice 666, an Electro Voice 655C. He also used an AKG Sound Rocket 202E and an AKG C451E. Now in Las Vegas, Elvis used an RE15 this entire year. But when Elvis went out on tour in September and November, he did change up his microphone use a little bit. He switched to a Shure SM53. And I've also seen pictures of Elvis using an AKG D1200E in the San Diego show in November of 1970. And I actually ordered one of these mics, so I'm thinking of maybe doing a review of the mic once I get it in the mail. I ordered it from Canada, so it should be here in about 10 days, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, hitting the home stretch. In 1971, Elvis switched over briefly to an RE16 by Electro Voice. The RE16 is the exact same microphone as the RE15, but it has a built-in windscreen to it. Now, you could also see this mic being used in the movie Elvis on Tour when Elvis sings Always On My Mind in the studio. Now, in 1972, Elvis pretty much always used the RE15 microphone, except in Madison Square Garden, for some reason, he switched to an SM57 with a windscreen cover on it. I'm not really sure why he used an SM57, because that's usually an acoustic guitar mic, but hey, it sounded really good on the album, so let's not question Elvis' judgment on this one. Now in 1973 and 1974, when Elvis was in Las Vegas, he was using an AKG D224. It's hard to tell when Elvis is using this mic in pictures because of course he has a windscreen on it, but the windscreen is usually held on with like a rubber band or maybe a piece of tape. So that's usually how I can tell when he's using this mic as opposed to the RE15, for example. Now our last two mics for the video, in 1974 when Elvis was on tour, except for in Houston, he used the RE15, he used a Bayer M160. Now our very last mic for the video, Elvis used this microphone pretty much for the whole ride from 1974 to 1977. He used an Electro Voice CS15E. Now that kind of replaced the RE15 at this point and it had become his go-to microphone. I hope you enjoyed this video today. It was something a little bit different, but it really is something cool for us gear nerds out there who want to know what kind of microphones Elvis Presley used. He's only the greatest entertainer that ever lived, so it makes sense to want to know how he did things. That's it for me today. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. TCB.